using a mobile phone while skating on the ice is dangerous to you and those around you. Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. The rocking horse movement is really just a forwards lemon immediately followed by a backwards lemon. So why is it important for us learning to skate? Well, it teaches us how to begin momentum and to arrest or stop momentum in both the forwards and backwards direction whilst we're keeping our speed nice and low. So let's have a look at the movements that bring together the rocking horse motion. We start with those feet open and the knees bent, arms out side to side. We're going to let those feet come round until we turn those legs in and feel the toes and the knees coming together. That should naturally arrest and stop your momentum. Now, I'm making this look very easy, but this can be a hard position to hold and maintain. I have to because I'm talking to you guys. All right, but what's gonna feel very natural to happen next is for those feet to want to return to their neutral position and then you can rotate and bring the heels back together to get back to our starting position. So when we join it all together, we get round toes together, round heels together. Notice how I'm never allowing my center of my body to go beyond my feet, either when I go forwards or when I go back. It's terribly important here to keep that center of your body nicely inside the lemon shape that you're making in this rocking horse motion. Round together. Now my center is behind my knees and my toes. Round together. My center is ahead of my heels slightly. And that's going to stop me from making any big boo-boos as I try to learn my rocking horse. Always prepare with a nice straight spine and feet organized in their V shape. We press out through the feet, sending the legs round until our toes meet in front. We then repeat the outward pressure until the heels meet up again back where we started. A little coaching point, remember your legs rotate inside your hips like a pencil in a pencil sharpener. Focus on making that movement symmetrical. Postural mistakes are quite common when we first learn to skate. However, try to keep your eyes looking straight ahead of you and this will help you avoid your body leaning and curling forwards as we see here. Head up, back up straight. Start investing in good posture right away. <laughs>